So the iOS 12.2 is already out, but we still haven't seen the real dark mode on an iPhone yet. So is it really coming with the iOS 12.3 like it was before with the 9.3 that brought us uh, the night shift mode, or is it coming in the future iOS 13? What kind of benefits does this gonna bring to my iPhone 10 and other iPhone models like a 10R, S, 10R, and 10S Max? And also, I'm gonna talk about the current state of the dark mode on the iPhone. So definitely be sure to stay tuned, hit the like button, and now let's begin. So a dark mode is what we call right now an accessibility setting that is in the iPhone uh, which is called the smart invert. This is as close as we can get right now to a real dark mode on the iPhone of course without a jailbreak and without all of the tweaks. It is different from a classic invert because this actually inverts everything apart from an images or the app icons or even the wallpapers. So it kind of looks uh, mostly like a dark mode but it still isn't what we wanted. So this has a lot of drawbacks if you look closely at my iPhone, you can see there is a tint, an actual blue tint to every single icon that I have on my home screen and even the wallpaper, which actually sucks. I don't really like how it looks right now and I was actually using the beta firmware of the iOS 11 uh, and this option was actually removed once and then added back to the iPhone. Don't know why, but still we have this really, really bad tint to every single kind of icon and every screen of an iPhone. So that's really, really bad thing. And apart from that, it's not so well optimized at this point. When you open up any app, there we have the classic inverts first of all, and then it inverts everything that has to be inverted and leaves uh, the images and other stuff uninverted after all. Uh, but it's not the best approach because it actually it drains a lot of battery just to do that. And if, for example, you're opening up some graphic intensive application like this one, uh, it drains a lot of battery from your device just to actually execute these comments to invert everything that has to be inverted and this is so bad. And more than that, you can actually go into uh, Apple's developers portal and there we have the new setting for the smart invert option. So it, this allows us not to invert images or any content in your app if you use that string uh, in your app. So this is really cool. And as you can see, Apple is now working on it to improve it, of course, and even in third party apps. But let's come back to our dark mode. So at this point, it's very laggy, it's battery draining, and it's almost unusable because, you know, all of these animations, uh, they are so, so choppy. And some of this even icons in uh, your dock or in the control center are, as you can see, are very weirdly <laughs> optimized for this dark mode. So uh, I'm not currently using this one on the iPhone because of course it's unusable at this point, but what we can expect Apple to do in the future is now collect this feedback from all of these applications and from us uh, to improve the dark mode in the future and to make it a reality. So this smart invert thing in here is just for collecting uh, the data and uh, the feedback from us. So this is just used for that kind of thing. So in the future, we will see the real dark mode probably with the iOS 13 because I'm not feeling that with the iOS 12.3. And as rumors, Apple is gonna bring major features with the iOS 13 because if you remember, iOS 12 was made just to eliminate all of these bugs and glitches because we had a ton of them on the iOS 11. And since then, the iOS 12 has been improved so much. So we have to actually wait for this dark mode only in iOS 13. There is almost no way Apple is gonna make this with the iOS 12.3. So what kind of benefits does this gonna bring us with the iPhone 10R, 10S Max, 10S, and iPhone 10? Well, let me start with the iPhone 10R. Well, this iPhone, the iPhone 10R, doesn't have the new OLED, uh, um, OLED screen or OLED technology screen, let's say, uh, that has an LCD display that we use uh, with the iPhone uh, just the 6S, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, and iPhone 8. So it won't benefit uh, at all uh, from that dark mode. Apart from just the visual standpoint and the visual improvements, you won't see any, let's say, battery changes and stuff like that. And what about the other iPhone models, which are new from iPhone 10? Uh, they are going to be having so, so much improvements on the battery life because if everything, everything on this display is going to be black and it's only, let's say, the icons are going to have the color, you're going to be having like a plus 20 or plus 30 percent of the battery improvements 
on your iPhone because they, you know the display drains so much battery as like 50% from the actual iPhone battery usage and this is crucial so you might see and will see uh, the actual battery improvements on the iPhone 10 10s Max and the iPhone 10 and finally guys I wanted to show you how you can improve this smart inverter kind of a dark mode on your iPhone right now there is just one setting that will make it better so if you go into invert colors just go back and you will see right here here the uh, let's say the reduce white points option so just toggle it to, well, this one to on and make sure you just set it to 100% so you're gonna be having a much much better dark mode right now as you can see everything is much darker in here in the uh, actual widgets panel and everything seems to be much much darker so of course there is a, right now an improvement in this uh, dark mode and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today I really hope guys that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like this one on my channel in the future definitely be sure to smack the like button that'll be super much appreciated like always and let me know what you think about this smart invert option right now what we have right now and what's your opinion about it and what's your opinion of course about the future dark mode on an iphone and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out